Hey, everybody. This is a clip from the latest episode of The Randy Road Show. If you want the full episode, you can watch live on Free Speech TV, Dish Channel 9415, Direct TV 348, Sling, Roku, and Apple TV. Mary had a little man, man, man. The fault. We believe that all men are created equal. To the magnificent mosaic that is America. From radio beacon to radio beacon. I have a dream. Change has come to America. Believe me. Knock, knock. Who's there? Hey. It's a figment of your imagination. Randy Roach Show. Turn up your mind. Despite not having any actual evidence that Donald Trump's a racist, uh, besides, let, let me finish. This, let, let, let's let him finish, let's let him finish. The, despite not having any real evidence that he's a racist, hmm. uh, Go ahead, finish. Let, let's let him finish, let's let him finish. Um, how do you, what, what is your opinion that, or like, I don't know. <laughs> All right. Under the Trump administration, black unemployment is the lowest it's ever been. Hispanic unemployment is the lowest it's ever been. The it's okay. The, we we gotta let them talk, folks. We gotta let them talk. The Please. black uh, medium uh, income for the black communities is on a rise. Um, that's not true. But Thank Obama. So, do you do you have any actual evidence that Trump is a racist or <laughs> and and what? What what more are you going to do for the minority communities than Trump has already done and his administration has already done? Th thank you so much for, for being here. Um, so you're asking for, for actual evidence, and, and I've talked about his repeated warnings of invasions, of, of dehumanizing or attempting to dehumanize people by calling them animals. Those are words he's used. Predators, killers. Um, somebody mentioned uh, whole countries, which was his description of, of nations in Africa, or, or wanting to have uh, more immigrants from Sweden and, and Norway, which, which he has also said. Or how about this? Four women of color, duly elected by their constituents, he told them to go back to their country. When this is their country. Um, his, his, uh, his attack on Elijah Cummings... Um, he was, somebody just reminded me, he was one of the original birthers about Obama, questioning his fitness to serve as president because he questioned whether he was born here, joining others who questioned whether President Obama was a Christian or a Muslim or was part of some plot to undermine or attack this country. So much of Make America Great Again is reflected of this underlying racism that Donald Trump has been perfectly open about. Klansmen? Neo-Nazis, white supremacists who marched in the streets of Charlottesville and said, Jews, you will not replace them. President Trump said they're very fine people. Um, so, so I don't know how much more evidence we need for, for the president's racism um, and, and the consequences of that racism. And I, and I mentioned, it, it is not just that it offends us. It is the mosque in Victoria, Texas, the shooting in El Paso, Texas, the hate crimes on the rise literally every single one of the last three years. Every single county in which he had a Trump rally saw hate crimes rise by more than 200%. If, if we can't make that connection together, we're not working with the same set of facts. Yeah, I'm the least racist person there is in the world. That happened at a uh, Beta O'Rourke rally. Um, and, you know, that, that took a long time to play because the instances are so frequent and there's so many that you couldn't even cover them all there as Beto was fielding a question from a Trump supporter in his rally who he said, no, 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 let him talk, let him express himself, let him ask his question as people were trying to shout him down. This would be the difference between a Democratic town hall and a Republican uh, rally where, you know, Trump supports the violence against the uh, naysayers or against anybody who infiltrates his, uh, you know, Nuremberg rallies, you know, a, even, you know, questioning, uh, fat shaming a man uh, who he believed was not with Trump, but was against Trump. Turns out the guy was with Trump and was attacking uh, an infiltrator into the Trump Nuremberg rally who had a, an anti-Trump sign. So the man that Donald Trump fat shamed was ripping up the anti-Trump sign 
And Donald Trump fat shamed that man, not knowing that he was a loyal Trump supporter. I mean, this is very sick. I mean, there's no question. But I mean, the racism of Donald Trump is nothing new. And you know, I'm a New Yorker and every New Yorker who grew up in New York in the 80s, let's say, understands that Donald Trump has always been a racist. Everyone gets it. You know, um, some of the stories we didn't know because we weren't uh, fully informed on the crapola that went on in his Atlantic City casinos, like when Donald Trump and Ivanka, uh, Ivana, Ivana be a Trump. Remember her? Another Eastern Bloc European country that he loved marrying into, right? But um, there, there were employees that, you know, have since come forward, uh, employees at Trump Castle, that said that when Donald and Ivana came to the casino, the, bo- the bosses would order all the black people off the floor. It was the 80s. I was a teenager, but I remember it. They put us all in the back. So, you know, this has been going on his whole freaking life. Of course, then we found out about the 70s. The 70s, when Donald Trump was sued by the Department of Justice for violating, uh, you know, uh, the civil rights laws that said that, you know, you had to show apartments to anybody. You couldn't put a little C for colored on the application and tell them there was no room at the inn. And the, you know, he was uh, ordered to make that right and to put an ad in the newspaper saying that he, uh, you know, observes the EEOC, the Equal Opportunity uh, you know, uh, civil rights laws. And after that, he did it again. He did it again. So, you know, there's that from the 70s. And then there was a, a commencement speech at Lehigh University uh, that Trump gave. And he spent the whole commencement speech trash, trashing Japanese people. He was saying the, the, that Japan was stripping the United States of its economic dignity. And we had to do something about Japan and the invasion of Japan, the invasion of Japan, which is exactly what he says now about China, right? And then in 89, the Central Park Five, which I mean, I was of age that I remember all that stuff. I remember that big ad in the New York Times, you know, full. It was a full page ad. That thing had to cost hundreds of thousands of dollars where he was calling for the death penalty for the Central Park Five who were accused of attacking and raping a jogger in Central Park. Some of them did seven years in prison. Some of them did 13 years in prison. And then we found this little invention called DNA. And the DNA evidence proved that they could not have done it. They got $41 million in a settlement to try to make up for the 13, seven to 13 years that they had done behind bars. And when Trump was running for president in 2016, he said he still believes they're guilty, despite the DNA evidence to the contrary. Okay, and then in 1991, there was a book. John O'Donnell wrote a book. John O'Donnell was the former president of Trump Plaza Hotel and Casino in Atlantic City. And he quoted Donald Trump's criticism of black people. He said, quote, black guys counting my money, I hate it. The only kind of people I want counting my money are short guys that wear yarmulkes every day because I think that guy is lazy. And it's probably not his fault because laziness is a trait in blacks. It really is. I believe that. It's not anything they can control. And then he denied saying it. And then in 1997, Playboy interviewed him and asked him about these comments. And he said, yeah, probably the stuff that O'Donnell wrote about me is probably true. Then in 1992... Trump Casino and Hotel had to pay $200,000 in a fine because it transferred black and women dealers off the floor to accommodate Italian mobsters' prejudices. I don't want to be kissing that King Cole over here. You know what I'm talking about, right? Right. And in 1993, Trump testified in front of Congress about Native American casino owners. They shouldn't be allowed to own casinos. They, they, they didn't have it in them. And they have a record of criminal activity that is well documented, except there was no record of criminal activity. He just didn't want to compete against the Indian tribes in Connecticut. 2004, he want, or 2005, he wanted to do The Apprentice, white people versus black people. I mean, come on. 
There's no evidence to support he's a racist or he encourages violence.